We are Janelle and Mike. We are taking a cruise aboard the newly renovated Oceana Riviera. In this episode, we are giving you a full tour of this beautiful ship. We are checking into our cruise at the port of Trieste, Italy. Our cruise is 10 days long and ends in Piraeus, Greece. After dropping off our luggage, we headed to the check-in counter. There, they will take our photos and provide us with our ship IDs. My parents, who I don't get to see often, are also joining us on this journey. They will be staying in the Oceana Suite. This is my fifth voyage with Oceana and Mike and I will be staying in the Penthouse Suite. As we make our way onto the Riviera, here are a few stats about this magnificent ship. The ship is about 780 feet long and holds 1,250 people at double capacity. It was built in 2012 and dry docked and refurbished in 2022. After their recent renovation, we were looking forward to seeing the penthouse suite in person. The suite's ambiance had undergone a remarkable change. Warm hues of earthy tones now dominated the walls, replacing the previous darker color scheme. The queen bed was just as comfortable as we remember it being. It boasted a new ensemble of linens that matched the room's decor. On either side of the bed, there were new end tables. Gone were the table and chairs that once stood at the end of the bed. In their place were two sleek, minimalist stools. During turndown each night, your cabin attendant leaves you with chocolates and the current's newsletter. This newsletter has information about the cruise, the port you are heading to, the events on board, as well as operating hours for the various venues on the ship. As we continued exploring, we discovered the new sitting area nestled by the window. The area features a new contemporary chair, a dark green velour sofa, and a white marble coffee table. The carpet beneath our feet was also new and complemented the overall aesthetic. Previously placed at the end of the bed, the dining table found a new spot next to the sliding glass door. Nestled on the table was a vibrant orchid plant, which was a delightful addition to the room. The vanity and entertainment area was completely transformed with brand new outlets, white marble countertops, lighter cabinets, more storage space, a beautiful vanity with elegant lighting fixtures, a sleek oval mirror, and a stylish camel-colored leather chair. The ship provides all guests with their own reusable water bottles with water fill stations located throughout the ship. Penthouse Suites and above come with a butler. He can provide you with your selection of soft drinks, pre-dinner canapes, and in-suite dining. You can even order breakfast the night before to be delivered to your room the following morning. One of the most profound transformations in the penthouse suite are the bathrooms. The walls and floors glisten, creating an atmosphere of elegance and refinement. The convenient blue light below the vanity is strategically placed to guide guests during the night. The vanity features marble countertops and sleek gray drawers providing a sophisticated storage solution. Above the vanity, an LED lit mirror adds a touch of contemporary flair while providing an excellent source of illumination. As always, premium Bulgari toiletries are provided throughout your stay. In a nod to modern preferences, the bathtubs have been replaced with spacious showers. The shower includes both a large rain shower head and a handheld shower wand. Across from the shower, a beautifully designed corner cabinet graces the space, offering even more counter space and storage. The walk-in closet was once much darker, but now exudes an inviting modern aura. The hanging bar provided ample space and included elegant LED lighting to illuminate clothing. The built-in drawers offer the perfect place for smaller garments. Oceana provides robes, slippers, and extra blankets as well. And our favorite feature of all was our veranda. I know some people don't think that verandas are worth it, but we felt that we got a lot of use out of ours throughout the voyage. The balcony features two wicker chairs with plush cushions and a small table. 
It's a great place to step out in the morning as you come into port. It's also a place to relax with a drink as the sun sets on another amazing day. Next, we are heading down to the Oceana Suite where my parents are staying. This Oceana Suite is located on the back of the ship, which has a unique feature that we are going to show you. This is the living area with plenty of space to entertain. As you walk out onto the balcony, you will see what makes this cabin extra special. It features a wraparound balcony. Most cruise ships do not offer suites with this feature. The new Oceana ships don't have this either. The wraparound balcony gives you stunning views of the ocean and the ports. The other unique feature of the Oceana suite are the outdoor jacuzzi tubs. When the wind isn't blowing, you can enjoy a luxurious bubble bath with a view that is unmatched. The new ships do not have these either, so they will remain unique to the Marina and Riviera ships. There's also enough room for your very own lounge chair on the Oceana deck, which sounds like a great place for a nap. Being on the back of the ship also provides you with the opportunity to watch as the ship pushes away from the port. Inside, you'll find a large dining table where you can dine from any of the restaurants on board if you wish. Next is the wet bar where you can choose up to six bottles of alcohol to use for the duration of your trip. The master bedroom is extremely spacious for a cruise ship with a plush king bed, floor length mirror, and television. The master bathroom is also the epitome of luxury with yet another large jacuzzi tub, a separate shower, a double vanity, and a bidet. You will receive extra full-size Bulgari products and a gift set when you book the Oceana Suite. The closet is probably larger than the one you have at home, with tons of hanging space and storage. The suite provides you with a desk if you need to catch up on work. As you turn the corner, there is an additional room that can be used as a bedroom or a living area. On the day of embarkation, the ship provides welcome hors d'oeuvres and champagne, which we definitely indulged in. On the same floor as our suite, there's the executive lounge. All guests staying in penthouse suites and above have access to this lounge. This lounge provides guests with a place to sit and read, a concierge attendant, a handy espresso machine, snacks, and soft drinks. A laundry room is located on each guest room floor, and it's free for everyone to use. They include washing machines, dryers, irons, and detergent. Each deck has both elevators and stairs, depending on your preference. There is also a beautifully designed staircase in the main lobby, where you will also find guest services, shopping, and the lounge. Carefully selected artwork is displayed throughout the ship from original artwork to Italian handmade glass. As you make your way up to deck 14, you will find the Aquamara Spa. The spa features a wide selection of spa services, steam rooms and saunas, a stunning front deck with lounge chairs and hot tubs, along with a full fitness center. Next, we'll explore the various dining options on board. Polo Grill is a high-end steakhouse featuring a large selection of wine and classic American dishes to choose from. The next restaurant is Toscana. Toscana is an elegant Italian restaurant that will transport you straight to Italy with its delicious pasta dishes and desserts. I got the Parmesan chicken. He got the, what did you get? Scallopini. Veal scallopini. Marsara. What'd you get? Tortellini. Mmm. I got the carbonara. It's very good. We have a beautiful view. I got the cappuccino. Michael got the tiramisu. Really good. Red Ginger is renowned among cruise ships as one of the top restaurants on the seas. We found this to be our favorite restaurant on board. Jacques is the French dining option on Riviera and Marina. The sophisticated and bright decor combined with the distinguished menu make for quite a special evening. 
The main dining room is a great option for those wanting to try different dishes in a more formal atmosphere than the buffet. Here you'll find delicious breakfast and dinner options. We preferred the Terrace Cafe for dinner most nights as we didn't follow a schedule while visiting each port. The buffet is a great option for everyone with its ample variety of foods, along with a full grill station where you can get freshly cooked seafood and meat. There are also theme nights on occasion. While we were on board, they had two nights featuring full Greek-inspired fare. My favorite was the Greek salad. There are also exclusive dining experiences such as Privé and La Reserve. La Reserve creates distinctive pairing dinners and sommelier-led tastings and seminars. Waves is the casual dining option on the ship. They were originally only open for breakfast and lunch, however, they are now open for dinner as well, providing tasty wood-fired Italian pizzas. The library has been renovated with more contemporary furnishings and decor. Here you can pick up a book to read or have some fun in the nearby game room. There are classes on board Oceana. The art classes vary depending on the time that you're cruising and can provide a great creative outlet. There are also paid cooking classes with professional chefs. On the pool deck there are designated smoking areas, abundant lounge chairs, a large infinity pool, and two hot tubs. As we made our way to the upper deck, we discovered a ping pong table tucked away. We had a lot of fun competing against one another while at sea. Located on the top bow of the ship, there are more activities to explore, including tennis and mini golf. On the opposite end of the ship, there's a running track if you like to get some exercise. A new addition to the pool deck is the extension of waves. Here, they serve smoothies and juices in the morning and milkshakes and gelato throughout the day. We loved getting fresh juice here every morning. The pool deck features a bar for those seeking a fun drink poolside or a pre-dinner cocktail. Baristas is the coffee shop on board. If you prefer handcrafted espresso drinks, this is the place for you. Offering a variety of latte options, you won't feel deprived of your caffeine needs. You can also pay extra for a boozy coffee drink if you want to spice things up. There is a casino on board, which is located near Martini's and the Piano Bar. Here, you can order drinks or just sit and relax as you listen to the string quartet. On the top deck, there's Horizons. Horizons hosts small entertainment options, a captain's party on the second day with free drinks, as well as afternoon tea. If you're looking for a more comprehensive entertainment selection, the Riviera Lounge is your go-to. Depending on the night, Oceana has Broadway-style productions, comedians, magicians, and even movies. When it comes to cruising, there are a plethora of options to choose from. Some opt for the grand drawer of large ships like Royal Caribbean or Celebrity, while others seek a more intimate and unique experience. Having sailed on both types of ships, we discovered that Oceana offers a completely different cruise experience that suits our preferences perfectly. One of the standout features that sets Oceana apart is the size of their ships. Unlike the massive vessels of other cruise lines, Oceana's fleet consists of small and mid-sized ships. This allows them to dock at ports that are inaccessible to larger ships. For example, during our voyage we were thrilled to dock directly in the enchanting city of Kator, while most other ships had to anchor and tender ashore. Of course, the Oceana experience may not be for everyone. If you're seeking a cruise filled with non-stop activities, water slides, and bustling entertainment, then perhaps a larger ship would be more suitable for you. However, if you appreciate intimate settings, unique ports of call, elevated cuisine, exceptional service, and a refined ambiance, Oceana is a fantastic choice. Make sure you stay tuned to the next episode because we are stopping at our first port of Split, Croatia.
Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe as it really supports our channel. See you in Split.